within the last hour, we got some massive news from the Carolina Panthers and Charlotte FC, and that is where we will start our show this afternoon. I'll try Cam, the team announcing on social media plans for a massive renovation to Bank of America Stadium, essentially ending any conversation about the team moving outside of Uptown anytime soon. Cam. Yeah, and here's what those renovations will look like. You see the renderings here. I mean, it's, it's bright, lots of colors there, but wait until you see kind of the, the up close look at the big video board there. I mean, just wow. Now, the obvious question some might have when seeing these upgrades is what will the bottom line be in terms of dollars and cents? Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is it will not include any increased taxes for the city. It's going to be uh, coming out of the hospitality and tourism tax from the city of Charlotte. The city will be contributing about $650 million to this project. Meanwhile, Tepper Sports and Entertainment will contribute $688 million as well. So you're looking at about $1.3 billion here for this renovation. That's no joke there, but you see all the stuff that's going to come there. You got a little bit of a, of a club section up in the upper section near it with the skyline in the background, the massive video boards. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's worth every penny of that $1.3 mm. $1 billion. Jorge, your initial thoughts here. Look, here it is. It's, it's not just the video board, but then also the expanded seats, the yeah. double decker in that club level that you'll be able to see. And it, of course, it focuses on the Carolina Panthers, on Charlotte FC, but also on the number of concerts that have been uh, coming here right. to the Queen City and, of course, held at Bank of America Stadium. So, look, when I look at this, because my biggest question mark was, was, was were the Panthers, were Charlotte FC going to move out of Uptown? Mm -hmm. This seals it. This seals it completely. They're staying, they're sticking around in Uptown because if you're making that kind of investment, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. They're looking, it's exciting. Now, the only thing that you need is on the football side <laughs> to get a product that's good enough so people can buy some yeah. tickets. Yeah. On the soccer side, they're not doing too bad. No, exactly. I mean, you talk about the investment in the facilities. You hope the investment to the hmm. team is yeah. kind of similar. And I think the thing that jumps out to me the most, you talk about you know, the video boards and kind of the expanded seating. I think the area around the stadium is worth noting kind of more of a pavilion like they yes. want it to be more of a destination where people aren't just coming inside to go to the game and then leaving it looks like there's going to be some stuff to do outside of the stadium and a little bit more of kind of that that, that sort of uh kind of walkable uh, yeah. downtown type of feel where it's more integrated and the stuff to do maybe even when there's not a game going on and you look at uh, some of the newer stadiums like you you, you look at uh, chicago mm. Uh, the renderings for the new stadium there. You look at what Detroit did, and they uh, featured a lot of that outdoor stuff uh, during the draft. It's about making that outdoor social pavilion yeah. kind of part of the culture within the sports. Right. And the video screens and things like that, it wouldn't surprise me at all if we started seeing a lot more things tied in with sports betting. Mm. and sports gambling yep. on those video screens with that technology. Yeah. We're already seeing that in several other stadiums. So it's a win for the city. It's a win for the fan base. Now we just need a win on the field. I was going to say, yeah, you talk about the, 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 the betting and the, the FanDuel is the official partner yep. of the Panthers. So I definitely think that the, the execs over at FanDuel are licking their chops thinking oh, yeah. about ways that they can <laughs> get their segments up there, have little interactive uh, gambling things throughout the, throughout the games. But again, you just see – how it's integrated into the city as well, too. I think that's the big thing. I think it was very important to David Tepper and to the city to keep the Panthers in Uptown because, sure, it was one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL. It was definitely in need of some, you know, facelifting and some, some, some love and care there. And so I think the idea that you can essentially put in almost a new stadium's worth right. of money into this stadium, the bones are still good. They're just really updating it and making it a little bit more modern, I think. It's kind of a win-win for both parties. You keep the Panthers in Uptown. Yep. The city is thankful that the dollars are going to stay in Uptown for all the, the, the money, the, the games, the concerts that are coming in. And it's just nice to, to really see the city investing in the team and the team investing in the city and vice versa. And I know we're biased, but the Charlotte city skyline is great. Yeah. And to, and to have that continue to have that as a backdrop, especially right. in some of those double decker areas where you get to see it, that's going to be key. And really what people are going to remember those out of towners that are, that are coming in here to Charlotte when they support uh, whatever team is coming in. For sure. So we know that the dollars and cents about uh, $1.3 billion. The question is now kind of a timeline. When can we expect that? That hasn't quite been solidified yet. We know the Charlotte City Council will be meeting in the coming weeks to go over that. We'll stay on top of that, obviously, and keep a very close eye on when we can expect these renderings to come to fruition and when the Panthers will, you know, take their first snap inside of this stadium. We're going to switch gears 